Alright, hello everybody! Mythical Dragon! We're here with Dangan Rampo Weekends! Oh, where did we leave off? Um, <laughs> I was so excited for Dangan Rampa and now I'm like, oh, we're back. Well, we are back and there were two people gone in our story now. They have been disposed of and we are now investigating this crazy tale of this Robo Justice, someone dressed up as Robo Justice, or who really knows, attacked Tifumi, attacked Celeste, and then went back and killed Taka, and then has killed Tifumi. So it's a lot, and um, I have a hunch, I have a little hunchy feeling here that maybe, maybe it isn't just Hero at fault for this. Because right now, basically, everybody has an alibi for the first attack in the morning, at least. And... except for Hero. But then the later attacks and the later deaths, there is no alibi, so some people are thinking it's Gyoko. Like, it's two people doing this together. But then Monokuma came in and confirmed, Nope, it's just one person! <laughs> uh, and now we're gonna figure out how that one person is. But my theory is that maybe it might be Celeste or Bianca because Celeste ended up being in the right place at the right time for all of these things to kind of steer our friends in different directions so that things could happen. So I think maybe she could have done it or maybe it was working for Hiro or Bianca or someone to do it. Uh, so that's my theory, that I think Celeste plays a huge role in this, whether it's actually doing it or not, I'm not sure. So that's just my theory there. So let's see if I'm right, and let's continue investigating this crazy, crazy game. Continue. Yes. Here we are. Oh yes, we're in this room. Oh. So now we're investigating everything in the rooms, just to double check everything and look at all the evidence. The Justice Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Right. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of the blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on his tire! Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. Noise! We got equipment room blood stain! <laughs> but even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? If Umu's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor, even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up here to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. Absolutely dootly. Huh? This tarp. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently too. Yeah. Yes? Okay. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body weight. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. <laughs> what? Great. Anything else? Look out. Okay, bye. We're done investigating equipment room. Okay, but look, like, uh, wouldn't there be blood marks on the floor here as well? I don't think so. Should I investigate anything here? Maybe. Let's see here. A huge machine like this. Could it really be just an air purifier? That just seems silly. Okay, no. Nothing to investigate there. So, there's. That's where Taka was. Now we need to go down to. I think we should go to the rec room and investigate there a bit more. Um. Except, do you think I remember where the rec room is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, what's this? Hi, Graham! Look at me, I did remember where it was! What do you know? Maybe I am good at video games sometimes. Okay, um... Is there anything strange in here? 
just want to look around a little bit. The couch. There's nothing I really need to worry about. Okay. Great. Oh, the hammer. That's right. Where's Celeste's attack? Celeste. Was she really attack with this Justice Hammer 1? But what the heck is with this thing? What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on around here? Mm -hmm. Well, we leave now. Now we gotta go to the floor. The first floor where the nurse's office is, maybe? It's the art room. We've already went in around and investigated there a lot. Ooh, the game's getting all like <laughs> on me. Are you the downstairs? You're not the downstairs. You're back towards the physics room. Oh lordy guys, I'm getting myself all turned around. I gotta love it. I gotta love it when that happens. There we go. Down we go. I find it really creepy, like the graphics that are like zoom down or zoom forward because it's like, oh god, anything could appear there. It could become a horror game. Okay, um, there's stuff is. Let's go here again. Go on investigate. Ugh. This is really unfortunate. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Justice Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Hifumi. So I moved the body, but left the weapon behind. That's awful. Let's look in the trash can. It's just a normal trash can. Huh? Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth? And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Ugh, but it's also covered in blood. Oh, right, because like, uh, we found Hifumi with his glasses cleared of blood, even though there's blood underneath his uh, glasses. So that, that's oddly strange. Ah, uh, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. But who would need to do something like that? I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either, but I think it might be important. I think it is important too. It's important to look at every angle in the office. Blip, fridge. A refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. <laughs> After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek? There's a bunch of blood pla blood packets in here for blood transfusions, I guess. It doesn't help me though. I'm not a vampire. Well, that could have been that could have been a clue, right? Maybe someone used blood and try to discover some shit. I don't know. What are you investigating, Celeste? Mm -hmm. I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply going around. A signal hero might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. Let's see. How Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone? Hmm. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then, the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. Noise. Hey, is there anything else I need to look at? I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I kind of looked at all this. So now I guess go back up to third floor? Oh! Oh god! I am not gonna be okay, you scared me. So, this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um... You should go to Hero's room. 
Oh, and let me give you this. Meets in the dining hall. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? <laughs> you remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> things grow ever more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debts. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Good. Okay. He said goodbye for us, so goodbye. Yasuhiro's message has been added to the truth bullets. Uh, so you said to go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? That's really scary to think about, actually. I don't know what that is. Oh, well, that's the front entrance. We need to go back to the hotel. The despair hotel. Okay, Hero's room. Okay, so there's Kyoko, Kyotaka, all oh, rest in peace, Kyotaka, Makoto, Mondo, rest in peace, Byakya, Sayaka, rest in peace, Junko, rest in peace, to uh, Togo, Celeste, no, rest in peace, Chihiro, uh, Aoi, Sakura, rest in peace, and Hero. The door is unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Yaki did say to go look. It may not have been a great idea, but I'm going to take the plunge. This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where'd he even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means like, he can't really complain if I don't get his, per get his permission to search his room, right? Okay, oh wow, yeah, there's like a lot to look at in here. Um, so bed bedroom. It's a normal bed, pretty much just like the one in my room. Great. <clears throat> I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something, and... Some things made out of, it looks like, cardboard, plastic, and plaster? Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room! But wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. Yeah, they're very detailed. And very strange. What's this? Oh, you won't let me look at the cool table. But I want to look at the cool table. Anything else to look over here? Ooh, we can look in the bathroom. I soundlessly checked the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy though. How does a bathroom even get this dirty? Bam. We're so judgmental. So judgmental. Alright, I guess we leave now. Alright. Oh, oh god, hello. Can we can we not have these characters like jump scare me every time? That would be great. Makoto, big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? It is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Just a second! Robo Justice showed up too! Robo Justice? It's Hero wearing the costume! Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. To think Hiro and Kyoko would turn up at the same time? Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. Hello, pool. What up? Wasn't I, like, just here? Um... Oh, they're over there. I see them. I am. Kyoko and I mean Phew man I have had the worst day Hero I don't even know who to start with. I'm gonna start with Kyoko. I found Hero. He was jammed into the pool locker. Pool room locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. I mean Kyoko girl, there are other ways to wake up wake up a person. Then like kicking them, but I mean, you do you. 
Who am I? <coughs> Who am I to question? <coughs> I swallowed wrong in my whole excitement there. Don't be mean. I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. I, I kind of have to agree with her on that one, Hero. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden, without a trace. Wow. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't. Never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Mm, my mouse is not working. Sorry, there we go. Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? And? First of all, first of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. Whoops, sorry guys, just, uh, was drinking some water. Uh, one second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened, but I woke up and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Huh? Well, um... Let me out of here! Oh no, he's stuck in there! I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A, a little help? Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make the stupid friggin' thing. Wait. Because we just found the blueprints in Hero's room to make the costume. How does Celeste know, or does she suspect that he made it? it seem... There's a clasp on the, on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Whoa, free at last! Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then... More to the point, so nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um... Wait, wait, what? H hold on a sec. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Is that okay? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made the costume. That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? Then it's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone? That's terrible! Was Hero! <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Good idea! We wouldn't want him killing anyone else! What? What? T tie me up! H hold on guys, I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... Uh, um... Attacking? Blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about! What the heck?! You can't talk your way out of this! It's been decided! You killed them! Please. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costume attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a beat, Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Huh. See, look. See how loose it is. Oh my god, this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, oh my god. I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And hmm. not to mention. You totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. Oh. That's not a very nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Mm. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. In a huff, Hina took the suit back off again. Oh. Well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um. No, no, see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... Makoto, go ahead. Oh, okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. Just a second. See? I told you it was impossible. <laughs> you are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But... Then... Then there's another costume. They must have one that looks the same, but but fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there's another suit, yes? Then you're then you must find it and show it to us. <laughs> well what the heck? Who cares? Here's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible. Which is how we know it was him. What? I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what has been happening. Can someone, like, tell me? Verbal Justice costume has been added to my truth bullets. Okay, I guess I'll talk to Hero now. What the heck? Uh, um, if you don't tell me what's been going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Hifumi. What? Two people? Why are you freaking out? You did it. I did not. Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it! I know who did it! So then... You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and Hufumi were fighting after over Alter Ego, right? I'm at least 30% right! Which means Alter Ego and or Chihiro must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please! Huh? Unfortunate? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit you did it, okay? Uh, um, I am telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so then. Ah, I know. Ah, I know. Ah, I know. That note. No. Uh, um, Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And that's- and here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. But the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, then for some reason, I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? What? Really? I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Well, after being trapped here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? Yeah, they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. I still don't buy it. Don't be mean. Well, you should buy it. Just a second. Okay, then show us that note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my um pocket. No way. Looks like I lost it. Oh. Yeah, sure. Please. P -p -p Please, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must pre must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. 
Just give me a reason. What, what the heck? For serious? Huh. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero. Uh... No, it's like I said. Just the worst. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broken, that's why. Wait, wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? Just be thankful. Just be thankful we haven't found and gagged you. <laughs> if you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? Ah, uh, you're right. I need to look for the second suit in that note. Feet, don't fail me now. I guess I better get back to guard duty. I was gonna toss Toko or Genocide Jack to switch with me. Hmm. And if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye! One by one, everyone peeled away. Makoto. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. To reject me so simply? Anyway... Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Uh, okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now then, shall we? Hey. So, Mikoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses. I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl as the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Y yeah you're right. Okay then, show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. Then I guess we should head that way for now. Back up, this is going. Sorry, sorry Kyoko, don't mean to make you dizzy. Don't mean to make my viewers dizzy, but I forget how to get to the upper floor. Don't worry about it. The classroom. That's all this. I guess, yeah, um... Oh, here. I know I can look at the map and be more, like, smart with things, but guys, I don't know. Being smart is hard. Art room! Art room! And door. Hifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid. But only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She, cro she crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. The Monokuma file is right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm. She was so beautiful. Okay. Seeing how comfortable she was made me feel a little more comfortable. Right. Um, look at the body. Taka was killed by a blow to the head. He must have been struck with Justice Hammer 4, which was laying on the floor in the equipment room. And there's a tarp laid out under his body. The killer must have used it to move Taka's body. That way it wouldn't leave bloodstains as it was moved. Great. I see. Makoto, I found something. You did? Hey. You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his right left hand? He did? Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? N no that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch? So then. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? 
it most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past 6 o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after 6? That's right. But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced, pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that. Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. In other words... So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning, it must have happened at 6 this morning. That is a good clue, so he was killed before Hifumi. However, And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. It, he appears to be gripping something. You're right, there's something white in there. Makoto. Can you try and pry it out? Me? Because... Rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Uh, okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A uh, piece of paper? Hey. Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Kyoko then turned to Hifumi's body. So then. Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clues of his own. Kyoko's er Kyotaka's scrap of paper has been added to the bullets. Bam! The biggest problem I have right now is how the killer was able to move Hifumi's massive corpse. From the nurse's office, where he was discovered, to here, the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. I just can't see how that's possible. Further, it seems that Hifumi died from a blow to the head. He was most likely killed using Justice Hammer 3, which we found in the nurse's office. But... When we found his body in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. But now, they're spotless. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses clean? But who would do that, and why? Here, I look at his body, what do you want? So, did you find anything? Indeed. I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. Oh, a wad of paper? That's right. Hifumi had it hidden on him. Hidden? Indeed. He'd stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he'd hidden it on purpose, you see? In his pants? Wait, so you- Why is that? It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. Hey. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto. Open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed out his pants, it's like... It better be important if it me or I'll never forgive you for this. A note? I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet at the equipment room at 6am. So... That sounds... very familiar. That's it! It's the same thing Hero said! Then he was telling us the truth! However... Although, it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um... Last night someone slipped a weird note under my door. And then, and here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. It's me to record at 1am. Oh. Oh. The time is different. Hiro told us that his notes have to meet at 1am. But the note they wrote to Hifumi asked him to meet at 6 a.m. Is that right? Hold on. Just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? So... Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. 
there's some meaning of part of it being ripped. Um, could you maybe explain it a little more? Think carefully. Hey. Why would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I... I have no idea. So then. What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how has something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Okay. Hey. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely have their e-handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. A handbook may play a role? I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. E-handbook. Oh, Lord, are you okay, class trial time? Oh, I'm stressed. I have no idea. Are you excited? No. Are you pumped? No. It's time for the class trial to begin! Okay. Like the bright burst of fireworks, like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. I'll give him that. Nice use of uh, simile, sir. And Hold on. So with no further ado, um, everyone, please meet at the usual spot. Okay. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. I like how he says, like, meet at the regular spot and then explains where the spot is again. <laughs> See you soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess it's fair for those that, like, maybe play this game in chunks it and such. Seem... It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we'd better get going. Uh, okay. Uh. Class trials stress me out. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation and they were gathered by the red door. And as soon as we were all there... Monokuma! Hello, hello, hello. He's multiplied? Wrong. Nope, not multiplication. It just looks that way because of an illusion. I'm moving so fast it only looks like I've multiplied. <laughs> Can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? <sighs> Can we just get on the elevator already? Boy, that's You're loud. You're not playing along, along, along. Stop We're not here to play with you. Okay. Okay, okay, fine. Hey, hey! Then if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the paint train and earn a elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. Okay then, shall we? <laughs> please! <laughs> Hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the heck? I told you already, I didn't do it. For serious. Hmm. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume on the note? Yeah. Um, well, no, but... <laughs> How unfortunate. So then it would seem we have our culprits. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. This isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to. I have to. Do it. I can't let whoever killed Defumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive. And for the two that lost their lives. Ugh. The, the one who killed Hifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is. 
someone right here. Let's go. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard, kerchunk. Sorry. Uh, the doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. Oh man, look how small the crowd is now. Jeez. Um, <laughs> sorry, that just caught my attention. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. Yeah, because the elevator making noise is so comforting. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up onto a cruel fate. <laughs> when I see all of you gathered together like this, I realize just how few of you are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Just the worst. Only because of you. Yeah. Why? Why are you making us do such cruel things to each other? Wawa? Wawa? You really hate me so much, but I'm so cute! Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. <laughs> oh, sorry, my voice is starting to get all... Bleh. Don't rush me! Of course I'm gonna start it! I would never be like, stay tuned for the action fact class trial after this commercial break. I never hold out on you like that. Mm -mm. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith. A deadly class trial! Bum 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 bum! Yes, please, save. Save. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Now we have to prepare. Okay. Alrighty, let's prepare. We got Truthful in. So, what do we got? We got Monica Mathile, Blue Tarp, Repository Dolly, Hifumi's Glasses. I'm actually going to click on each one and read it. Let's actually be smart about this. So here we go. Monica Mafile. The victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. The, case, the cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they... It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. Okay. We're going to go... Boop. Blue tarp. The tarp was found in the repository under Kiyotaka's lifeless body. It was apparently used to move Kiyotaka in order to avoid leaving any blood stains. Repository dolly. Uh, the dolly was found when the body was rediscovered in the repository. The specific dolly has no handles, and blood was found on one of its wheels. It is assumed that this is the same dolly that was in the equipment room where Kiyotaka's body was originally discovered. Right, 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 right. I'm gonna just do one thing real quick. Because the sunlight is blocking my screen from me reading better. Okay, here we go. Hifumi's glasses. When they were first found in the nurse's office, Hifumi's glasses were covered in blood. However, when they were next seen in the repository, they were completely clean. And now we have a spotless hammer. Hammers of all shapes and sizes were found in the repository. One of them was found wet and had apparently been recently washed. That's right, I forgot about that one. Oh yeah, the mysterious door. The door connecting the art room to the repository was designed to open only from the repository side. According to Ayoi, or Hina, it was locked during the search for the missing body. However, when the body was rediscovered, it had been somehow unlocked. Okay, a puddle of blood was found in the equipment room where Kiyosaka's body was initially found. A tire track had been left behind in the blood, probably from the dolly. This cloth was found in the trash room in the nurse's office, probably used to wipe the blood off of Hifumi's glasses. Let's listen to Celeste's account again. Hifumi's body dis disappeared when Celeste and Hina left the nurse's office to use the bathroom. Apparently they weren't gone for more than a minute or two. 
Yasuhiro's message. This is the note that Yasuhiro wrote to get everyone to meet in the dining hall. Meet in the dining hall is all it says. The handwriting is remarkably neat and clear. Robo Justice blueprints. These are the blueprints for Robo Justice, which were found in Hero's room. And here's the costume. No one but Yasuhiro could have been could have possibly fit into the costume. In addition, anyone wearing it would not be able to see their feet or bend at the waist more than 90 degrees, which is important because of the dolly being low to the ground, right, and the tarp on the ground. Ah. Hero's account. It's quite a long one. Apparently, Yasuhiro received a mysterious note last night. The note read, "The note reads, I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Madakuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet at the rec room at 1 a.m. Broken wristwatch. God, we got a lot of evidence from this one. Kiyotaka's wristwatch, wristwatch broke with the hands pointing just past 6 o'clock. It was confirmed that as of late last night, the watch still worked, which means it must have broke must have broken the following morning when he was attacked. And then, yeah, there's a scrap of paper from Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka's lifeless hand was found clutching a small scrap of paper. Hifumi had the similar note from Hiro, but it says to meet at 6 a.m. in the equipment room, not in the rec room. And then there's a handbook. Each room has their own e handbook, which also acts as a card key. The owner's name is displayed. Each time the handbook is booted up, it is believed that no handbooks were involved in carrying out the murders this time. Yet. 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 Ooh, set skills. Increases the influence gauge by two. Effective during the class trial. Cost two. Yes. Yay, let's have that open. Lost in thought. Increases the time limit for each phase. Ooh, that'd be good. Anything else? Breathing technique. The focus gauge recovers more quickly. Effective during the non-stop debate, the hangman's gambit, and the bullet time battle. Yeah? Vocabulary. Oh, I won't be able to use vocabulary. I don't think I want that anyway. Allows you to reload two bullets at once. Effective during bullet time battle. Mm. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, uh, back. Okay, guys, we're gonna start this and see how things go. Last trial, all rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Now, I know I usually go fast forward through this, but I kind of want a reminder of the class trial myself. So we're gonna go through it with Monokuma. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the no wrong one, one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, to, to begin, begin with. with. We already know who did it. Hina, please. Was that? Was that? It was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murder An alibi. Place, and we found it in that suit. Hmm. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. I didn't. Someone knocked me out. I, I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. Shit, you're murdering now, murderer! Mm hmm. Rich coming from you, but damn, look at that tongue. It's like all like court like swirly. Damn. Who are you calling a murderer? I was actually literally about to say that. So, hero. You and I are on some sort of spiritual wavelength right now. I am now. sorry to say hero. I am but sorry to say hero, evidence. but we do have evidence. So I want to try to get used to her accent because I know I've been like making her more British than anything. But blueprints for the suit. Blueprints for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. To build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. Yeah. Points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Is Hero really the killer? Or... Before anything else, we have to make that clear. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> make your arguments! Yahoo, yes, to Hero's message. Okay. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough 
that you are the culprit. <laughs> I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true. It's a conspiracy. Is it? Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No, just hold on a second. Okay, I mean, looking at the blueprints, the handwriting is awful messy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true. It's a conspiracy. Here are why. Why did you kill them? No, just hold on a second. Okay, you know what? Let me go to the blueprints. I think it's the blueprints. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts. No, it's wrong. No, it's wrong. <laughs> I love class trial. It's fun. Are we sure Hero really mm -hmm. made those blueprints? Good question. What do you mean? Well, take a look at this. Okay. It's the note that Hero wrote. Yeah. Asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different. Wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints. Oh! It is! Good! I am a Kodo. I didn't even recognize that. There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Thank you, Unless Kyoko. that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. Even then. No. The differences are bigger than that, I think. Thank you, Sakura. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. Uh, he said it though, guys. He said it. So, Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hiro's the culprit? Nope. And he is not the only one. I think Hiro's the culprit. Oh, shit! Well. Byakuya turning around a little bit in this game. Look at that! What? Then who was in that Robo Justice suit? Look at my tiny little hands, me. Is it like Hero said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? The suspicious individual hidden within, within the, the suit. suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. Um. And of course, he passes it off to me. So? Who was, in, who the was in the Robo Justice suit? Oh, the suspicious individual question. The one that must have been in the suits was. Hero? I got it. Other than Hero, I can't think yeah. of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit. And we never found any kind of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero well, is um, the well, prime well, 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 That doesn't make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. Thank you, Hina. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit. But he's not the culprit. Okay. So what you're saying is... That's right. The, the culprit. culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the robo-justice suit. Oh, snap. What? He was a decoy. Now that's a bold assumption. And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes. Of course. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that out of the way. Okay. Hey, stop trying to boss us around. All things have a proper order. Uh-huh. So what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. I know those items. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? Yes. Yeah, the things that were used to move, they must have been the blue tarp. Yeah. Blue tarp! And. And the dolly. I got it! I got it. They were a, a dolly, dolly and a, a tarp. Tar right? What's with the attitude? So, let's see if I can explain. Yeah. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room. And then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? Yeah. It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. 
so the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Same thing. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when the body disappeared, so did the doll. <laughs> Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the doll. Mm -hmm. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body, am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Is it not possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? No. She's raised an objection. How do you respond? Oh my god, Piakia, I could do without your smug shit. There is no shame in being wrong, and nobody expects much from you anyway. Damn! Celeste! We have all accepted the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. I'm sorry, what? Wow, I've never had anyone sound so nice or being so mean, but maybe I can change your mind. But I could just explain to them why the dolly must have been moved from their corner to their repository. A new element has been added. Okay, yes. Let's talk about reloading. Starting with this next bullet time battle, we're gonna add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the temple make temple marker, you can see your ammo count. Up until now, there really hasn't been a limit on how you destroy your opponent's statements, but from now on, just locking on and pressing the left mouse button won't be enough to handle them. Now it will cost you, now it will cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements no matter how locked on you are. However, you can reload it by pressing the tab key. Okay. Uh, so like locking on, you'll press the tab key in time with the temple marker. Basically, just remember the tab key from now on. Um, along with the right mouse button and left mouse button. You'll automatically reload at the start of fewer time and your ammo will not decrease. Um, okay. This is gonna suck. I hate this one. Moment of truth. Okay. You had it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst and win with you. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst, you miserable wretch. You have it wrong. Oh. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So tap, 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 tap. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. Away with you. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst, you miserable wretch. You miserable wretch. You have it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. Away with you. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Life will get you nowhere. Do your okay. Course. Yeah, okay. Now I get it. I'm sorry, guys. I understand it now. We're gonna skip through this real quick. I understand how to do this. We'll do the bullet time battle, and then we'll call it an episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not gonna watch this again. Yes, please. I refuse to give up yet. I do, too. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, no, we're good. I now understand it. Okay, we're good. 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 Whew, okay, stressful. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. 
Final strike. I cannot agree. This should prove it. Did it. I'm so good. Yes. Oh, it feels so good. If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, yeah, 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 yeah. Break it down, Makoto. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain on it. Oh, snap! There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that matched the dolly wheel's tread. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. You dropped that mic, Makoto. Jeez, does Celeste really hate me that much? Well, anyway... Oh, this is something, something we had to get, get out, out of the way. way. Let's, Let's get back, back to the, the main subject. subject. And we will, guys, on the next episode of Dangam Rampa. See, isn't it great that we do this on the weekends? Because that means you watch it today and it's going to be uploaded tomorrow. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely. So hang tight, guys. The Clash Trial will continue in the next episode tomorrow on a Sunday. So take care out there. Enjoy the drama of it all. And we will see you in the next episode. Take care and bye-bye.